a wire 1.5 mm in diameter and 150 mm long is submerged in water at atmospheric pressure full stop an electric current is passed through the wire and is increased until the water boils at 100 degree celsius you just need to check out everything okay when i am studying when i am means not i means if you are looking at the literature of the numerical you should be knowing that what you need to target what you need to find out everything should be there in your mind while starting the calculation so a wire 1.5 mm in diameter and 150 mm long is submerged in water at atmospheric pressure an electric current is passed through the wire and is increased until the water boils at 100 degree celsius full stop under the condition if convective heat transfer coefficient again convective is this find how much electric power must be supplied to the wire to maintain the wire surface at 120 degree celsius okay so what's there it is again a numerical on newton's law of convection okay so the diameter of the wire is d 1.5 mm okay converted into meters length of the wire is l 150 mm so it is this so you know the surface area of a cylinder a wire is a cylinder so the surface of uh, surface area of a cylinder suppose if this is the diameter so it will be phi okay so this is the surface area of a cylinder so here the same thing area is pi dl okay so everything is given pi is a constant you know this is the diameter this is the length so this is the value of the area wire surface temperature is actually given wire surface temperature is actually given okay water temperature is again given here is the water temperature so here is the water temperature convective heat transfer coefficient is also given okay so this is the convective heat transfer coefficient a uh, very simple now now the electric power to be supplied now the electrical power to be supplied is equals to the total convection loss because whatever electrical power you are supplying to the plate as it is surrounding with the water so definitely if the plate gets heated so it will be loss uh, it will lose the heat inside the water so here it is again newton's law of convection that is h a delta t so this h a ts minus tf and here is the answer again a very simple numerical okay now a surface having an area of 1.5 meter square and maintained at 300 degree celsius exchanges heat by radiation now here is the radiation okay the value okay uh 300 degree celsius exchanges heat at 40 degree celsius the value of factor due to the geometric location and emissivity is 0.52 so here the epsilon is 0.52 determine heat loss by radiation the value of thermal resistance and the value of equivalent convection coefficient okay so what we need to do is everything is given here a okay so first of all uh if you remember this is the surface factor surface factor is nothing uh, we will be discussing it in radiation but for the time being you just represented it by f sigma a this is the stefan boltzmann law okay so sigma is the universal constant called stefan boltzmann constant 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watts per meter square kelvin 4 uh, we have already seen in my previous videos just apply these values here and moreover moreover when you are solving a radiation numerical all the temperatures has to be in kelvin okay so here it has been converted into kelvin do not do not leave it in degree celsius but uh, you know uh, when because here it is to the power 4 so the value will change okay if you keep it in degree celsius so here you go with this okay so this is the answer it's a very simple mathematics okay now the next thing is the value of thermal resistance we all know that this is the particular format for calculating thermal resistance if you happen to follow my previous videos so here is the same thing just calculate the t1 minus t2 by q all the temperatures are given everything so this is the answer the value of equivalent convection h r okay so how will you do it actually so this is q is equals to h r a t1 minus t2 okay or, or or it's very simple so the convective uh, coefficient will be like q by a t1 minus t2 so simply you will get this answer i am not going to the alternative uh, alternative thing 
because it's easier here okay so you can follow this means here here what they have done they have actually calculated the radiation coefficient in terms of the newton's law of cooling okay now the next thing a carbon steel plate thermal conductivity itna 600 mm by 900 mm by 25 mm is maintained at 310 degree celsius air at 15 degree celsius blows over the hot plate if convection heat transfer coefficient is 22 watts per meter square and 250 watt is lost from the plate surface by radiation calculate the inside plate temperature everything is given here area is given okay the thickness of the plate is given done surface temperature of the plate 310 degree celsius done temperature of the air fluid 15 degree celsius done convective heat transfer coefficient this done so heat loss from the plate surface by radiation this is also given okay done thermal conductivity k is 45 okay so this is also done so inside plate temperature in this case the heat conducted through the plate is removed from the plate surface by combination of convection and radiation so just see q conduction is equals to q convection see here the heat is getting conducted through this plate okay and when it is coming out now there is a combination of convection and radiation okay so just apply fourier's law this is the newton's law of convection and this is stefan boltzmann law okay just put all the values just put all the values and just calculate the temperature so this ti this ti is unknown sorry this ti is unknown so just you have all the values just calculate the value is a simple mathematics but what you need to remember you need to remember what is given and what you need to calculate now the next numerical a surface at 250 degree celsius exposed to the surroundings at 110 degree celsius convex and radiates heat to the surroundings the convection coefficient and radiation factor are this okay i am just taking everything if the heat is conducted to the surface through a solid of conductivity 10 watts per meter degree celsius what is the temperature gradient at the surface in the solid okay so everything is given ts 25 uh, 250 t surroundings h okay everything is given here this is the radiation factor okay sigma this is the universal constant thermal conductivity so what you need to calculate you need to calculate the temperature gradient now the temperature gradient will be calculated again with the combination of heat transfer like q conduction is the same kind of numerical that we did the uh, in the previous slide q convection plus q radiation this is the formula fourier's law newton's law and the stefan boltzmann law put every value here just calculate dt by dx with simple mathematics okay